Welcome back to a special edition of today from Colonial Williamsburg in Virginia. This state was one of the first colonies. It was also the capital of the Confederacy. And now it is a modern day political battleground. We sent NBC's Luke Russert back to school to find out how the youth vote will impact the coming election. In his third year at the University of Virginia, Evan Morris knows the importance of showing up for class. At school in a swing state, the Obama and McCain campaigns are wondering if young people like Evan will also show up to vote. How do you like him so far? He says he'll cast a ballot in November, but is still undecided for whom. The reason I'm still undecided is because I actually haven't done enough research yet. College students across Virginia are turning off reality TV. I know, right? and have tuned in to the real life Amazing Race. Dead heat, a new NBC poll shows the two candidates essentially tied. So we got who's for Obama, who's for McCain. Emily Poe is an associate editor at UVA's student newspaper. Students are excited. They're, they're ready to vote and ready for November. Young voters have proven unreliable in past elections but could be a key to victory in Virginia. Since January, there's been 283,000 new registered voters here on the blocks in Virginia. Of that 283, 62% are under the age of 35. Explain how that statistic will have an impact on the 2008 presidential election. The fact that so many of these new voters are young is a very good sign for Obama and one reason why he can be competitive in a state that's been red since 1964. The University of Virginia is a school founded on the ideals of Jeffersonian democracy. And with the economy being so bad, a lot of us are worried about jobs. The political debate can be seen across the grounds where students are engaged in an election like never before. I think the last four years have given students a real sense of empowerment in that their vote can matter and who becomes president can matter. Are you all registered to vote? What many see as an early edge in enthusiasm, Virginia voters under 29 cast more than double the ballots in the Democratic presidential primary than those tallied for the Republican candidates. Our campaign has always been about neighbors talking to neighbors, friends talking to friends, people you trust talking to people you trust. And I think that's the best way to get the message across and talk about the change that Senator Obama is going to bring. McCain supporters say Virginia hasn't backed a Democrat for president since 1964, and they believe their vice presidential pick, Sarah Palin, will help court college kids. I think the more they look at the issues, the more that that happens, the more they're going to realize that they want to vote for John McCain on November 4th. That's a very top-notch school. Is it representative of what's happening in other schools and with the youth vote all around the state and maybe in the country? To a degree. You have to remember the smartest kids in the state go there, so it's a little leaning a little bit towards Obama. But it really kind of is a microcosm of the state. White males we spoke to were overwhelmingly for McCain. African Americans overwhelmingly for Obama. White women kind of split down right the middle. So you, you kind of see it. it's, it's reflective to a degree. All right. But they're engaged, and that's the most they're important They're engaged, point. and uh, I think they'll show up on uh, election day. All right, Luke Russell, good to have you with us here in Williamsburg. Luke, we're going to be back with much more right after these messages in your local news.